Hi and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a little watercolor uh, teapot scene. And I actually have my daughter's teapot here um, to show you as an example. So it's a very bright sunny day today so uh, it's coming through the window so I'm going to try to uh, make sure you can see this. Um, we're looking at the teapot here and a little cup. And we're gonna try to do a similar pot with some, um, these are like cherry blossom, a cherry blossom design on there. So we're gonna try to do something like that. It's gonna be a pretty simple um, picture. We have our watercolors, we have a pencil, we have a half sheet of watercolor paper, and a couple of brushes that we'll use, and the watercolors. All right, so um, what we're gonna do first is take a look at the teapot and sort of sketch out uh, the two items. So if you look at the teacup, we want to position these. The teacup is about, you want to kind of, when you're doing like sort of a still life or objects, uh, a couple of objects together, you want to kind of look at the objects in relation to each other. So this teapot's about half the size of height-wise as the teapot, so we're going to keep that in mind. And like I say, it doesn't have to be exact. Um, we're just using this as a rough guide, and I want to make sure we're recording. Okay, good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off, and like I say, it's very bright today, so I'm going to try to do a little bit of a darker pencil line. I'm going to make a curved line, and I'm going to come down with a little teapot. I'm going to get that first. There we go, a little indication of the teapot. And we're gonna do the lid, okay? And I'm gonna put the little cap on there, okay, there. Okay, it's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna do the spout. So we're just gonna come out, and like I said, it doesn't have to look exact. You can make your own uh, teapot. I'm just gonna, I'm just using this as a little rough uh, guy. I'm gonna come down with a little spout. A little tip and a little area where the tea comes out. Okay? All right, so now we're gonna do, um, uh, now you can do this type of handle or I'm gonna actually put a side handle on this one just to show you. So we're gonna do a little side handle and I'm gonna make it kind of, uh, let's see, a little fancy here. A little, there we go. Something like that, okay? All right, now, now we have that sketched out. Now we're gonna do the little cup. And like I say, it's about halfway down, so we're just gonna do a little curved line, another curved line on top. I'm going to kind of line up the bottom. There we go. All right. Now this teapot doesn't, this, sorry, this teacup doesn't have a handle. Um, you could put a handle on it if you like, or you can leave it like, like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the indication of a few of the little um, cherry blossoms. Now you can do them as little circles. Maybe like five little circles, or you can do little blossoms. Just gonna put, scatter them around, and then I'm gonna do a little vine, a little branch like they have there. And I'm not doing it exact. I'm gonna put a couple coming down here like this. This one has some coming. Looks like it's wrapping around, and then I'm gonna do some circles with blossoms. And I'm gonna do a couple full flowers. And they're just indications. There we go. Okay. And I think we could do one a little bit on the lid. There. You could even do something coming down the handle, on the spout, whatever you like there. Okay, so now we have a little scene. Make sure we're still recording, yes. Okay, so now comes the part we're going to apply the paint. I'm just going to use my uh, famous long, thin, one-inch long, thin brush. And now again, you can do any colors you like. 
I'm gonna sort of mimic the green tones, but mine are gonna be a, maybe a little brighter. So I'm gonna take some of this green, and you can see that I have a little bit of brown in there, so I'm just gonna kind of wipe that off. We're gonna mix in to the, the green tone. You can see it there. And we're gonna kind of get it real wet, and that's with watercolor, we wanna use the water to help us lighten the color. The less water you use, the more intense it's gonna be. Uh, the more water, you can lighten it up. You can actually bring it out onto the side here or onto a separate little um, area. You could use the lid of like a plastic um, container and just wet it down. The more water you add, the lighter the tone. And I'm just gonna wash the screen right across my teapot. Oops, I almost went right into there. Did you see that? Never have a, so I, I've had, sometimes I'll have a cup of coffee or some iced tea or something, and I will be working with paint and I'll actually put my brush in the coffee. Not a good thing. Actually, I'm gonna go right over these blossoms. So I'm gonna take this. I think I'm using the, whoops, now see, I went over. You can just wipe that right off. And this is a good lesson because if you want to remove the watercolor, you can kind of take a little bit of water, kind of go right over it. I kind of, whoops, gotta get a little piece of paper towel, kind of just wipe right over it. There we go. If I had more time, I could do a better job, but we're not really going to worry about that because we'll put a little wash of color in the background anyway. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Okay, so I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes, I think that what happens here with the green, I think it's gonna look really nice with the little pink blossoms. I'm just gonna go here. You see I got a little speck of paint, but that's okay. This is a painting, it's, it's art. Just go with it, swing it. Okay, so we're gonna put to the top. And I'm gonna do something else there so we don't have to worry about that little line. I'm gonna wash some of this over, and you can just actually add water right onto the paper to help bring the paint across. There we go, okay. All right, now, what we wanna do now is I'm just gonna put the indication of a little table, and I think I might just do a brown. Just a little bit of brown. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of wash it across like this. Whoops, just so that, and that's fine, just so that we have a little, just so it's grounded a little bit. And we can clean off our brush and just go back in and kind of clean that up. There we go. Okay, now if you'd like to do a little color, oops, there goes the sun, so it's not as bright now. If we have, um, oh, now my eyes have to adjust. So um, if we want to uh, put a little background color, we could. Um, I'm gonna try to get that little, see that little spot of green off. There we go. This sort of comes right off, there we go. Okay, if you wanted to wash, maybe let's try a little bit of the pink. We'll do a pink in the background, because it's sort of gonna match the little cherry blossoms. I'm gonna do a very pale, wash of pink in the background. There we go. Very, very light. And you just could wash it across. Now, usually I would let that dry before I do that, but that'll be fine. And sometimes when, oh, here comes the sun again, you find that um, when it dries, you might think, oh, geez, that's a big mistake. With watercolor, when the mistake that you think is a mistake dries out, sometimes it really just looks like an interesting effect. You don't really have to worry too much about it at all. Okay, I'm gonna stop and let this dry for a bit, and then we're gonna come back and do um, the little blossoms. I'm also gonna be later using a um, fine tip marker to go over my lines to add a little bit of interest, and I'll show you about that um, afterwards. All right, so I'm gonna stop for a minute and I'll be back. Okay, we're back and I'm gonna now put the little um, cherry blossoms in and I think I'm gonna use um, a little bit of the more red tone. You could use um, the red, you could use a, a pink, whatever you like. And I'm gonna sort of just drop that in. Just drop it in to 
those little circles that we did. take some maybe a little bit of the brown and we're gonna kind of just fill in here as if there was some tea or that's the inside of the pot kind of trying to slant it a little so you can see better and we're gonna give it a little shape there okay and I'm also gonna put a brown little knob on the top there And I'm going to put a little bit of the brown in there. There we go. Okay. Excellent. Just move even that off a little bit. There we go. Okay. Okay. And if you want to take a little bit, I keep going into that teacup for my water. Okay. So now. If you want to take a little bit of this and kind of do maybe a little um, sort of like an imitation of a little shadow happening there with the cup, and you could do the same here, just a touch, just a little shadow coming off. a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. That sort of grounds it too. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to let that dry again and then I'm going to show you, we're going to make it pop with the, um, the fine tip marker. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back for round three here. So I'm going to take my fine tip um, marker and we're gonna just sort of outline it. And it's important that you actually um, let it dry. Whoops, now my marker here is, there you go. It's important that you let the paint dry because if you use the marker on the wet paint, it's gonna kind of ruin the marker and it's not gonna work for you. So we're gonna go around some of these lines. it a little extra top. You find sometimes some of the paper might, um, so the paper fibers might come out onto the marker, so you can just wipe those off. in here for the sake of time but you can see how it really makes it pop and if you wanted to add some other little lines trailing out you could So this is just an example of one way of making this uh, little tea scene. You could uh, put some fruit in there or a little cupcake or whatever you whatever you think anything you can either um, look at an object like a cupcake and try to add it in or a little tea biscuit or a spoon um, and just add it in but this is just the basis for the little design and you could go and add things in the background as well you could do um, actually a wallpaper or another tone another color to make it really stand out but this is my little tea scene, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you make one of your own. All right, we'll see you later.